Welcome back traders to Stardewaces channel. My name is Ali Casey. Today's video is about the new version of strategy Quant X. So this version is build number 130.467 and it's a stable version. So I'll be going over what's new. Of course, you can click on the roadmap and you can read about what's new. But since you are a subscriber of this channel, then I'll be happy to show you what's new. So the first new option which uh, it's really helpful in custom projects. By the way, if you don't know what custom project is, there should be a link in the corner and down the description. I went over how to build custom projects. It's really a wonderful, wonderful feature of, that's like the main features I like about uh, strategy context is you can automate the whole thing. In any case, so let's say you build a strategy. This is the, uh, they have an example here. So this strategy will clear the banks, build. It's building on uh, Russell. And then it's retesting and retesting time frame, and Monte Carlo test and final. So once you like this project, in order to put this project again on a different symbol, what I used to do before is I used to have, uh, is I have to clone this uh, custom project and then click on it. And then go and change. Uh, so for example, let's say I want to do it on gold. So I have to go here on gold and then come back here and change it again. And basically every task that has this symbol, I have to change it again. And even if I wanted to build it on the same symbol, but on a different time frame, then every task in this symbol, I have to change the data to, let's say, daily. So now the new feature is you can do this from the main menu so once you're in custom project menu let's say you want to change this one so just come here to the gears icon click on it and say modify symbols and here they give you the example of what's the format's gonna be usually whatever symbols and time frames in this project will be listed here so for example here we have the ewh1 and we can change that let's say to es and daily and then this is the second time frame. I can change it or I can keep it the same. So let's say in this project, I'm changing only the main uh, testing. And then I'm going to keep the second one at M30. Or I can leave it uh, without anything. But in this case, I'm going to just change it to ES. Oh, and by the way, this is at. And then click Save. Time frame D, I think it's D1, is it? Yes. This has been changed to ESD1. ESD1. And this one we change it to ESM30, ESD1, and final, ESD1. So this is a beautiful uh, uh, thing uh, to speed up your, uh, your automation. We have now the ability to set advanced trade management. It's experimental, of course, currently, most likely in another version it will be stable. But this is good to scale out of a position. So usually when you build, you go to the stop loss, let's say, and let's say we have a fixed stop loss and we have a fixed target using the same as the stop loss. So currently this strategy has a built-in stop loss and profit target. Of course, it doesn't have to be, but let's say the strategy. What you can come here and say, if you enable it, now you can use whatever the strategy has, or now you can use your own. And with your own, you can add basically scaling out. So let's say you wanna exit the first 25. So you wanna exit the first 25% of the position in a uh, fixed profit. So let's say it's 50 pips save and now we add another one now we're gonna exit remember the first 25 we exit at 25 and at 50 pips and now this one will be at 100 at 100 and once we exit these two guys let's let's set a uh, all remaining So anyway, so it's supposedly when they implemented, you can move this too. 
but we can say none position will run until the it is closed by exit rule and so all the remaining position uh, will be so now i have scaling out 25 at 50 pips another 25 at 100 pips and whatever my exit rule is at the end so this is really a good feature for scaling out of course i don't do it i usually in and out all position uh, but i guess for permitting in and out it's uh, good to know now the next feature is also really good and i will use it so this feature let's say you assume you build some strategies over here you need to bring your portfolio in and then test every strategy and see the correlation if it's good or bad obviously that's very time consuming so now to automate this process they uh, added a new feature which i love so in builder if you go to existing portfolio and just load the strategies that you like so here i'm gonna load all the crude oil strategies that we build in the true crude oil uh, uh, seasonality portfolio uh, there should be a link in the corner on down in the description if you want to see it again or if you didn't see it before so i highly recommend you watch this this is a really good portfolio so let's assume that i want to add another strategy to this portfolio although this this portfolio is not correlated the correlation is very low because basically each strategy is trading on a different day so now let's assume we want to build a strategy that matches with this portfolio before we had to like just build strategy tested build strategy tested or bring a thousand strategy compare the correlation and then find something that matches well now it is easier now if you load your strategies in the existing portfolio go to full settings go to ranking and filter and then here in strategy uh, quality ranking fitness pick existing portfolio basically this is this bank so whatever you load this portfolio it will use for the correlation so once i told it to look in this portfolio and then in here i'm going to filter strategies that has a correlation daily correlation profit and loss less than 0.3 so the maximum allowed is 0.3 anything less than 0.3 acceptable above 0.3 is not acceptable and we go to of course in the meantime all all this stays the same like whatever you want to build here and trading option and building blocks this all uh, applies except at the end when we are filtering the strategy and instead of filtering on 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 these conditions only now the strategy even if it's profitable and the number of trades is okay and it matches everything we want here now it also has it match this condition which is the correlation with these strategies less than 0.3 so i'm gonna start okay so i'm gonna stop it now of course the strategy is not good but it doesn't matter i just want to show you the concept but if you give it enough time it will find something so right now this strategy and this strategy they are correlated less than 0.3 with this portfolio and i'm gonna show you like we, let's save this one so save and let's call this less correlated example so now i'll go here and i will load the strategy and let's see So now I'm going to combine all these in a portfolio and we'll put it in the existing portfolio and here's our portfolio. So if I go to portfolio correlation, compute, and you can see that this is the strategy that it found and look, it's maximum 0.03 correlation with the current strategies. So of course it's a losing strategy but it doesn't matter like when when it finds a a profitable strategy because remember why it's it's not a as per the as per sqx it found what what we told it to find which is what which is net profit is more than 50 trades more than 50 and that's what it is it has 222 uh, trades and profit is 1000 
the I just wanted to show you the concept. Of course, you can have your rigorous uh, conditions here, and then it will be matching this. So uh, this is a really good option. I really think this is a wonderful feature to add for strategy Quantex. Now, the next feature they added is this, which is building a strategy uh, and sell it in the market if you have the ultimate version. So I'll leave that in a separate video. And then uh, they have compared the backtesting, although this was available before, but I don't know what has changed. Uh, basically what they're saying is, let's say you have these two strategies, you come to tools and you say compare, and now it's gonna show you the expand all. Now it's gonna show you the difference between these two strategies. So this one using MetaTrader engine, this one trade station symbol, time frame dates, and so on and so forth. And you can uh, hide the one that there is no. Uh, so this is zero. This is eight differences, two differences. It's basically you can compare two strategies. And then, which is, <laughs> this is, uh, I don't know if it's by chance or, <laughs> but now you remember I did a video on, uh, on Kaufman efficiency ratio, which I think is really useful. And now I'm, <laughs> now they added this, obviously it, it, the indicator, as I told you, it's, it was in the forum, but now they, uh, they add it in the building blocks. So now Kaufman efficiency ratio is here. And also they added Kaufman adapt Adaptive Moving Average. This is also very good moving average and they added another moving adaptive moving average, which is Hull. This is Hull moving average. These are also very good moving averages uh, to use as they don't whipsaw a lot they, because they are adaptive. And of course they have signals. So Kaufman have efficiency, efficiency ratio higher than level and lower than level which we used before and I show you how. And also the Hull moving average now has a uh, falling, rising, changes directions upward and, and changes directions downward. And they added, uh, I think two or three more, uh, I think was Woody's something. Uh, yeah, so this is Woody's, which I don't know this, but uh, anyway, I'll check it out. But uh, obviously the Hull uh, and uh, Kaufman efficiency ratio, these are very good and I'm glad they, they are now in the basic version available. Now in uh, cross and the ranking again, you can do the weighted fitness and add a minimum and maximum weight. So remember we can build, I always build to net profit, but let's say you want more customization. And now you can uh, have the minimum and maximum rate and approximate rate here in the weight. I don't use it, of course, I'm sure many people are using it. But to me, I'd like to go with net profit and go from there. And they added also the possibility to add the uh, JARs snippets. That's if you're a coder. If you're not, then it doesn't mean anything to you. And also, of course, there are some improvements and bug fixes. If you have the license or if you're just trying, I highly recommend that you download this version. And uh, this version is going to keep uh, upgraded here. You can check the builds as they find more bugs and fixing it. Uh, so stay up to date all the time. And you can, I highly recommend that you install this separately. So when you go to download, you can download the installer, which will upgrade your current version, and you can download the zip. So a zip file, when you download it, it will be treated separately. So keep the two versions and, uh, and uh, add your strategies, indicators, whatever. And then when everything is working properly, then you can uh, disable the old version and start using the new versions only. This is a proper uh, way to upgrade all your platforms, trading platforms. Because with trading, you know, you don't want to upset whatever is doing well right now. So if it's, uh, a strategy is performing well, uh, then you leave it alone. When you upgrade to a new version, of course, you bring in the new strategy, test it, and if everything works fine, then you upgrade. So I highly recommend always to keep the separate versions, whatever is working right now, and you download the new version separate folder and just run it from that folder. And when everything is working fine, then you uh, upgrade to that new version. 
So I hope that was uh, beneficial to you. Uh, if it is, please like, subscribe, share, share your comments below, and I'll be happy to answer any questions you have. And until the next video, stay safe, and I'll see you soon.